Hello everyone, this is Nicola and Prince here. Thank you for tuning in and watching our video. What we're going to do today is talk you through the cost of the whole ground floor. The video will be split throughout with the different stages of cost, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. On our foundation, the footing, the digging, all the work, including the block work, uh, we spend £6,500. Uh, that works out just about £32 uh, a square metre, so it's, it's quite reasonable, uh, not that expensive. So the, the next one up is the ground floor slab. There was a total of 202 metres squared and the cost was 2,996. This includes materials and workmanship for the whole of the ground floor. This part of the building process was my most enjoyable as it was when we was in Ghana. So we got to be hands on with the process. We got to take our children to see the site and it was, it was the best time, wasn't it? Yeah. Seeing the, the um, start of the home. Thank you for watching all. I've put on here, if you can give us a like and a share, it's nice to see all the comments and the back and forth interactions with us. Please do give us a like. So in terms of the next cost, that is the total cost of the foundation and ground floor slab altogether. That was 9,500. These costs are obviously British pounds, but we have got the dollars on there for you as well. Yeah, there's another video where we went into details of the whole cost of the foundation. So you, you can, you can uh, check that uh, for yourselves. If you go to our main YouTube page, there is a playlist for the whole building process. So you'll be able to see the ground floor slab costs in detail on that particular video. In regards to materials, we have used three trips of sand, two trips of river sand, four trips of stones, 1400 blocks and 308 bags of cement. We use three rolls of DPM. One roll covers 100 meters squared. Yeah, the DPM, when, when it's laid, it must be uh, overlap. Uh, and then there's a DPM tip that you have to use to uh, seal all the joints. Yeah, the detail of that, again, in the, in the um, foundation casting video, we did go into quite detail in terms of the importance of the DPM and making sure that there's that overlap and the, the difference in the quality of the materials and things too. So give that a check out. The next on the materials used list is iron rods for the columns. So we used 63 pieces of 16 mm, 41 pieces of 16 mm higher tension, 69 pieces of the 10 mm and four coils of the binding wire. Yeah, we had to use uh, high tension, uh, which in Ghana is called uh, foreign. Uh, because of the size of our columns and so uh, the engineer advised us that we had to use the high tension for the big columns so that's all we used. I think it's really helpful and important to, to make consideration for the cost per square metre and feet for your own project because despite inflation and costs going up you, you're able to kind of get an idea of what each stage might cost you and help you with your forward plan isn't it? Yeah, you need to budget uh, how much you want to spend uh, on the whole uh, project. So I uh, said the, the detail we provided there, uh, it will help you to have an idea how much it will cost depending on the size of your house and the location. Another thing to also consider uh, is that the more small, small rooms you have, the more blocks you're going to use, the more expensive your building uh, will, will, will become. Yeah, I agree. And I think one of the things you need to bear in mind is the furniture sizes are, are more larger as well in Ghana. So you have to think about the space of the room. If you have too many small, small rooms, then it, they just look too small. So yeah, we opted as our preference 
for ground floor, very large rooms, open spaces at the back of the house. But there's options for us to, that because they're not going to be load bearing walls, we can just add internal stud walls. We wanted the space to be very versatile for us so we can change it as we go along. For the cement, we use 43 bags of cement. Uh, this works out to be one bag was uh, to 40 blocks. Uh, these are six inches uh, blocks with uh, five inches blocks. Uh, you can lay with 50 uh, blocks to a bag. Uh, in terms of our block works for the ground floor, uh, the materials we use, we use three rows of DPC. We use 1,700 blocks. That's all the blocks works on the ground floor was 1,700. That works out about six uh, and a half uh, blocks per square meter. But if you are budgeting, uh, you, you got to allow about nine blocks per square meter. Uh, so how do you know how, ma how many blocks you're going to need? You have to measure all the length of your walls times the height. Uh, then that will give you an area. Then you divide that by say nine. That should give you how many blocks you will need. Let me know in the comments below what were some of your must-have design features in the house that you're planning or the house that you're currently building or built. We use 115 bags of cement for all our block works, all our lintels, ready for the casting of the first floor slab. For our continuation pillars, we use 16mm 54P6. Uh, these were high tensions. 12mm uh, uh, 38 pieces for the lintel. And then 10mm 90 pieces and 5 coils of binding wire. For foam work, for columns and lintels, we use 2x4, 25 pieces, bobo board, 35 pieces, bamboo, 30 pieces, 4 inch nails, 4 boxes, 3 inch nail, 3 boxes, and concrete nails, 2 boxes. So we have 3 feature columns, uh, which are 450 by 450 two at the front of the building and one at the back. We decided to uh, rent uh, foam work uh, due to the size. Uh, the former Mike was concerned that uh, because of the size, the weight of the concrete could make the, the boss uh, open. Uh, so we decided to rent uh, these. Uh, they were about 1,000 Ghana, and it was the best decision we took, uh, I think, uh, but the second day the guys came and removed it and the columns were fantastic. So yeah, we, we were happy with those. Uh, we did consider just buying a precast uh, columns, but we were concerned about the aesthetics more than anything. Uh, also, because these columns are when they come and then you pour concrete into to fill them and um, we're not keen on those. Um, and also, we see some instances whereby these columns were hanging from the end of the slab, uh, which was not great. So yeah, we decided just to have our cast in situ, uh, which is the best thing uh, to do. Uh, so you can see in the image there, those columns at the front of the building look fantastic. So as you can see, this is the detailed breakdown of all the materials and labor. Uh, cost uh, uh, the block works lintel up to getting ready to cast the floor uh, cost us 9,500 pounds. So, in total, all the costs we spend up to date to the level we are now, uh, include for the foundation and everything, the block work is 15,100 pounds. Um, that works about 143,000 Ghana or uh, 19,000. 500 US dollars. As you can see, these costs are based on our building plan. Uh, we got very minimum internal walls. So the more walls you have, your building may be more expensive. 
Can you please comment below how much your ground floor was cost you or if you are in the process of building how much is your budget we just want to say thank you for watching it's been a pleasure engaging with you all in the comments do let us know in the comments below where you're watching from you can see we have a very wide variety in terms of the statistics but it'd be nice to know exactly where you're watching from we do have over 70 percent of you guys watching that don't subscribe so please support us give us a subscription it is free oh, no there. subscription charges guys we're not netflix so please come on hit the subscribe button thank you for watching and please look out for the next round of videos there's lots more videos coming where keep pushing through and we recommend you guys do the same do not stop thank you for watching and take care